Photographs showing unknown soldiers from the First World War have been given a new lease of life in a bid to identify the men. A photographic expert from Much Wenlock in Shropshire has enhanced the pictures and colourised them to help find out if the soldiers have any living relatives. As Lindsay Dore reports, 4,000 photographic glass plates were discovered in a farmhouse in France. Haunting images of a lost generation. Discovered in a dusty attic in Vignancourt in northern France, 4,000 photographic glass plates of unknown soldiers who fought in the First World War. Uh, the photos were in um, the farmhouse uh, since they were taken in, um, we think, not around 1916. Um, so they lay uncovered for nearly 100 years. The last Tommies have now been brought vividly to life in a studio in Much Wenlock in Shropshire, using the latest colorization technology in an attempt to identify them. Soldiers were posted to towns like Vignancourt when on leave from the trenches, relaxing, practicing drills, writing letters home. In this case, they also had a photograph to send. We do know that a lot of these photos were taken just weeks and days before Battle of the Somme in 1916. So um, as the village was so close to the front lines of that battle, then we can assume that quite a lot of these men wouldn't have made it through the end of the war. They were originally taken by a French couple, Louis and Antoinette Toulier, who set up a small studio at their farmhouse in Vignancourt. Many of the graves in France simply say, a soldier only known to God. Their names may be lost to the passing years, but now their faces are as fresh as if the photos were taken yesterday. Lindsay Doyle, BBC Midlands Today, Much Wenlock in Shropshire.